way too long. Yes, way it has. too yes, long. It has. Yo, yes, it what has. happened? Look, first of all, AccuWeather is not accurate. <laughs> not at all. That's all I have to say. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Because if it was up to them, we'd have been shut down tonight too. Oh my gosh, twelve inches, three feet, all this foolishness. And can I just say, I don't understand what's up with us. I like I remember either. back in the days, we they used to, to tough it out. Was yeah, delayed <laughs> yeah. for three feet of snow. Yeah. It wasn't close. It was delayed. <laughs> right. Didn't give you time to get there. Right. You know, put on your snowsuit and your boots <laughs> right. and go to school. Yo. Now it's like a half an inch, it's and it's a like new shut day. down. We've what? been, we have been missing from you guys for the last this is not our fault this would be three weeks now yes because of the snow yes. um but we're happy to be back we are that's we, why i think we're a little more excited we then. missed you guys yes did uh, you miss us I, don't even answer that i'm just gonna say that you i did. know y'all did yeah because some of y'all told me mm-hmm. uh but no nobody told me though nobody told you no oh your friends are shady yeah. my people told me <laughs> <laughs> my people and hey, Anna's friends i don't know how what kind of friends she got <laughs> but my friends told me that they missed us so um, you don't have to miss us any longer because we are back um, and we are glad to be back. Yes. Are you well? I'm well. I'm well, too. Even better than that, God is great and through God I am well. I know that's right. That is the truth. And Receive that. We pray the same thing for you. We pray that you would know that that is true for yes. you because it is true for you whether you know it or not. Uh, but we have had time to plan another great show for you for this week. Uh, and we have. But for those who are just now tuning yeah, in and they yeah. don't know what they're watching. Oh, how about that? I'm so I'm so I'm so ready to rush rush ahead because I'm excited. We're hidden treasures with Diana and Morris. That's who we the be. eclectic <laughs> Christian perspective. Isaiah 45, 3 being our foundation scripture. Yeah. And there are some hidden nuggets that's about to be revealed in today's show. And um, you are going to enjoy it. Word. <laughs> that's the truth. Thank you for that. Uh, but uh, the the uh, show we have some special guests yes. on the show. We always have special, almost always have special guests on the show. But here's what I want to say. You know, I was thinking about this. We have nice guests on the show. Yeah. Because sometimes everybody's you know, not. I mean, all of our guests normally are nice. But I wanted to just highlight the fact that it's nice to be around nice people. Yeah, people who just really want to talk to you, that yeah. really just want to share from their experiences and have a wealth of experience and aren't, um, we don't have anybody who's bougie, who's trying to That's hide information. I mean. Like, yeah. mm, I can't tell yeah. you this. Like, why Coming you in with show? an air. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we got great we people. We don't have that. So I'm excited to have more great people on the show and you'll we'll introduce you to, to them a little bit later. But if you're interested in what the topic is, the topic is blended families um, on today. And I'm excited about that topic because in... Um, today's society, we are seeing more and more of that, um, and it really can be a beautiful thing, actually. Um, and so we're going to hear more about that. I'm not going to get into details now, but we will definitely hear more about that in the uh, couple of couple of minutes. Couple of minutes. Stay definitely, tuned. definitely. Stay tuned. So listen right now. Tell your friends and family. Tune into in the mix radio dot com. One of the live is in the hypest studios in Yonkers, yeah. Gia. Mm-hmm. And you can call 914-969-6499. That's 914-969-MIXX. We want you to call in. You're going to have questions. Um, and you know how we do. We like to talk and we like to hear from you. And as usual, you know what to do also. Go to our Facebook page. Like us. Go to email us at hiddentreasuresam at gmail.com so we can hear more from you. Yeah. But absolutely. with that being said... It's been a couple weeks since we've been out. And I don't know if some of you remember our last show. And if you did not get a chance to see it, shame on you. (laughs) But you can go to our YouTube channel and check it out. We talked a little bit about natural hair. um, And it was a good panel, a great discussion. And we got some different perspectives from male and female and everything. And so we found this video. It's a little What's Happening Now segment. um, And we want to play it for you. So this is telling you um, I am beautiful too. So we're going to take it. It's crazy to think that we have hair we don't know how to care for because we spent years wasting money on weaves and relaxers at the hair store. And most of these businesses aren't even owned by blacks. So another race is benefiting from our weave obsession. How do you feel about that? So you're thinking, okay, I wear weave and what's the big deal? Well, it's that we're continuing the idea that there's only one type of sex appeal. appeal. See, no one out there really acknowledges this is a big problem. They just say, That's black woman for you. There's nothing that needs solving. Through slavery, our hair separated us to prevent us from being one-sided. With you on the left and me on the right, we were strategically divided. It's to the point where we actually believe this entire weave thing's a choice. 
However, the slave masters from six feet under are the only ones who should rejoice. It was a plan to maintain oppression within the black community, can't you see? So before you call me whack and an extremist try to understand me, I want to emphasize that one black woman can't criticize another for wearing weave because we've all been infected with the white ideology disease. When a black man finds comfort in a white woman, we really can't complain because it's our weaves and our wigs that are bringing the white girls so much fame. Yet still we can't seem to figure out why so many black men prefer white and when we see an interracial couple, we're ready to put up a fight. Although this battle began as white against black, today it's our own people that have created our largest form of attack. Yes, black men indeed are a big part of the problem too. In fact, they're one of the biggest reasons why us black women don't know what the hell to do. Their minds aren't developing in the right directions, and it's straight weaves and blonde wigs giving our men erections. They say they love a black woman just as long as her hair isn't nappy. And then they sit there with their friends wondering why our attitudes are so crappy. It's because of you for not embracing us and encouraging us for who we are. You are the biggest supporter of our identity, Scar. And check this out. If tomorrow Rihanna started rocking the afro, then we'd all start weaving in that texture instead of letting it grow natural. That way, in three months, when she changes her hairstyle again, we're not trapped with the hair that's so criticized by our men. We need to give our natural hair the time it needs to grow and to stop giving up when we think it's moving too slow. And it's not that our hair necessarily grows slower. Because of its kinky texture, it just appears to be lower. And stop making up all the excuses as to why you can't do it and why it's easier for someone like me to go through it. Afro hair is only bad hair because of what we have been taught. So understand that we're all just victims who unavoidably got caught. It's a trap that completely holds our minds captive and that forever makes us believe that nappy equals unattractive. But I am beautiful. That was so awesome. Such an yeah. awesome depiction of a very heavy topic and addressing it from so many perspectives. But I really love the two sides. I, I really want to talk about this video from a creative perspective, how this author and um, creative individual showed two sides of herself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, showed what was the image that was out there and it showed one being more confident in what was not real and the other one being less confident yeah. in what was real. And I, I love the passing back and forth of the piece of paper. It was like, you're unattractive. And the other one was like, no, this is, you know, mm -hmm. this is fake, whatever. And, um, I thought the creativity of it was wonderful. And I just appreciated the reason why I really want to show it was because I really appreciated how that piece in encapsulated the topic that we talked about, the different perspectives. She talked about the male perspective. She talked about, you know, um, how sad it is of what we do and um, why we think it's really our choice. Right. And um, so many things that I think is so key. When you get a chance, watch it again, watch it slower. Um, it really just connected to some things that we said, what the perspective of is when you are natural. Right. Um, why does it seem that being weaved or wigged up or whatever is really your choice, what that means. It was just so creative. I, I really wanted to just talk about that from that perspective for me. I think for me, um, one of the things that stuck out, and, and to make to even broaden the, the conversation from hair um, just to some other things that happen to us in life, I think the idea of us um, being more confident um, in what is not real um, versus uh, you would think that uh, that your confidence would diminish <laughs> when you use something that is artificial as opposed to doing things that are natural. Um, but in our society, things have have reversed, and that's not just about hair. Yes, um, you know, um, um, even just the you know your clothing, the labels. As long as you have the right label on, now I f you know I feel better. But if I you know just had some sweats and jeans, you know some some um, some sweats on, and somebody saw me, the same person saw me, I all of a sudden now I'm, I don't have the same confidence as I have to uh, um, to articulate myself in the manner that I would if I had on you know Versace. Right. You know, it's just like the the way that we. Um, 
um, our society kind of has been set up to um, dress it all up and not really be concerned about what is happening internally because yes. if I can look the part and if I could you know, wear the right things and if I can get the right labels and put all the fake stuff on me, then I won't have to really deal with what's really inside of me. And I'm afraid, I, this is what really um, is troublesome to me, is that we're almost afraid to allow people to peer into who we are. And I think for, for me, um, if, uh, if I could take it away from the hair, that's really what I'm seeing a lot of now in today's society. Yes. Forget about hair for a second. I'm seeing that we are really afraid to allow people to see who we are, and that by itself is troublesome. And I think yeah. even the video showed when you even see her in the beginning take off her glasses and her hand is shaking. Yeah, yeah. Like even you are afraid to show who you really are on the inside. Even to as yourself well, sometimes. To yourself. Yeah. And then let's get deep for uh, just a little moment, because this is the eclectic Christian perspective. We are more comfortable, like you said, in the things that's not real. Yeah. So we'd rather believe the matrix, which is what this is, right? <laughs> right we right, know, right. oh, we think we're eating these this lavish food yeah. that's really like slop right, <laughs> right and right. so we'd rather take the dip the the devil's foolishness yeah. and really get ourselves puffed up and be confident in that rather than being confident in the truth of god's word yeah, which yeah. sometimes is so simple but it's so hard for us to conceive because it's, i don't know if i want to um, conform to that truth yeah and it's it's that same instance and i think that video it talking about hair and a lot more really addresses how we are in our work, mm. how we are that, in the spiritual the realm. Yes. There are, I mean, there are, I, I'm going to segue for one quick second. Yeah. There are vain philosophies and beliefs that are out there that are crazy. Mm -hmm. um, and I just learned about one. I don't know if you know about one, but deism, D-E-I-S-M, anybody who's watching looking mm. that up, is the belief in there's a God creator of the universe, but he no longer interacts with his creation. So there's no need for worship or anything else of that sort. Mm -hmm. And it's so enemy, the, so, so funny how the <laughs> enemy feeds these vain philosophies. Because for you, the, that feels that conviction yeah. that there is a God, but yet let me not let you worship him because you don't want to bring your life in alignment with his word. Right. Just believe that now you're a deist or it's deism. Uh, I was, I was <laughs> blown away. It's and crazy. it's that belief in the unreal yeah, yeah. rather than believing the real yeah. you know, and being confident in it you know yeah no, that's, it's, it's crazy to me it's just crazy to me how we um uh, will settle yes. um you know for what people make us to be because that's really what it is it's really a conforming to the ideals of other people um and if this is what you believe i should be let me put it on, you know, let me put it on, let me look like what you say that I should be, because maybe then you'll be able to accept me and in turn I'll be able to accept myself. Um, but it really all, um, it, it leaves us all empty. Um, if we tell the truth, it leaves us pretty empty and it leaves us chasing the next thing because yes. when that fad pay, um, fades um, and the new one steps in, now I have to compete um, with whoever's out there new, whoever's the right. next, whatever the next right. thing is, I've got to live up to what that thing is. And so we're forever chasing whatever the thing is that's next and never being satisfied with what we are. Rather than walking in the steps that God has yeah. ordered before crazy. you. Crazy. So, yeah. If uh, there's more you need to say, you know what to do, give us a call, 914-969-6499. We would love to hear love your it. feedback on what <laughs> it is that you have to say. I, I love, love how God would just illuminate anything <laughs> in this place. <laughs> right. You understand yeah, me? Right. We went from a hair video. We got deep <laughs> on you real quick. Oh, my gosh. God that's, is great. That's you know? what it is. That's what it is. That's what it's all about. So um, what's happening in the community? How about that? All right. We got a couple of things happening in the committee um, community. Excuse uh, me. Uh, I'm going to actually show you the flyers for two of them, and there's another event that we don't have the flyer yet but I will share the information and in the upcoming shows we will be promoting that as well so I want to take you to if you didn't already know we talked about it but we told you we're going to have a flyer about it this month is the month two weeks from today yeah. we want to share with you the cool jazz experience of vitality this is Jamel's Johnson's CD release listening party which is taking place on Monday February 23rd from 9 to 11 p.m. let me tell you you see the time up there, 9 to 11 p.m. It's not going to be longer than that. It's not going to start before that. Um, and it's going to take place at Minton's. It is really great. Ticket prices are only $20 to get in, and that includes entrance into the event. And it also includes a copy of the Vitality CD. This is an awesome musician, a gospel and jazz musician. This is his sophomore album, but his first jazz CD. And I'm telling you, it's going to take this world by storm. So you want to be there before the place is crowded and you can't get in through the door. You want to make sure you're there on time. Minton's has great food, so come with your friends. Get all dialed up. Get you know, get handsome, get dapper, whatever you guys want to do. Um, come on in. 
Now, you could be ordinary and just come at the door, <laughs> and we'll still accept you. Uh, or you could be a VIP and get your tickets in advance yeah. and be a VIP attendee because there's some special things there for you. But I it's at Minton's. It's in Harlem. It's on February 23rd, two weeks from today. You can actually go on PayPal.com. You can put in the email PJJohnsonMusic at gmail.com, and you can purchase your ticket and pay for your ticket that way. Send the $20 that way. So we will be telling you more about it. That's an event you don't want to miss. And guess who, which uh, radio hosts are going to be there um, highlighting this event? Shh, we're not even going to say. <laughs> but it's going to be awesome, and they're awesome, too. It's going to okay? be live. It's going to be live. <laughs> ah, the next event we definitely want to share with you. I paused because I needed to remember how to say this event. <laughs> Jawaya? Jawaya. Jawaya. <laughs> the Jawaya event. The Jawaya Tour. And Jawaya stands for Jesus Was a Young Adult. So the Jawaya Tour, doors open at 7 p.m. It's an event that's happening at a variety of locations on different dates. Um, each event starts at, oh, the doors open at 7 and it starts at 7.30 p.m. The next event is happening on March 6th at Bethel Baptist, and that's at 1 Fisher Court, White Plains, New York. And this is sponsored by Feast. That is Fueling Empowerment and Spiritual... Triumph. Triumph. <laughs> Feast. Mm -hmm. um, so the Jawaya Tour is coming to a church nearest you. You want to make sure you're there. You find your way out March 6th. March 6th, okay, is the next event. We'll tell you more about it. 7 p.m., make your way and make sure you are there. I also want to share one more event. The flyer's not up here, but we will have the flyer up there. The Our guests for this evening, this is an event that they are hosting at their church, and it is gospel comedy. And let, let me tell you something. This event took place last month, and it was packed, overflowing. It was laughs. It was great times. Um, people just came in and enjoyed themselves. The tickets was $20 in advance and only $25 at the door. It was awesome. You had Marty Grace, gospel rapper. You had hosted by, guess who? Hamburger. Okay? Hamburger. That's who was hosting that. the event. Um, you remember him. It's so good to see that, you know, what God has done in his yeah, life. and yeah. It's just great. And there's a lot of other great comedians there, male and female. So come out. Enjoy yourself. It's going to take place at New Life for Better Living Christian Center that's located at 2472 3rd Avenue, Bronx, New York. You could always call 718-585-5425 for more information. Again, the place was overflowing. I'm going to tell you right now, you don't want to miss it. The date is March 29th. So we've just given you three events, February, March 6th, and uh, March 29th. So you can go to all these events and just have a good old time with Absolutely. your social self. You better. Yes, you can. <laughs> um, so that's what's happening in the community now. If you want us to announce your event and if it's in line with our mission and our purpose, we'll be more than glad to do this. So please feel free to email us at hiddentreasuresam at gmail.com. That's what it is. So, um, at this time, as you know, if you watch our show, um, we have a special music video of the week. Um, and as we prepare for our discussion about blended families, and as we, some of you, get ready for uh, commercially what is con considered Valentine's Day, mm. um, we have a nice um, love song for you um, by one of our um, former guests and friend to our show. By this song, Terrell Play Valentine's Q Day. Lane. By the song it's on iTunes and the song is called thank you and so we're gonna go to that at this time and then we'll be right back at you with our special guest get it before Friday that's right <laughs> Tell me how could I have been so very blessed Tell me how could she have chose me over all the rest I'm not deserving of this day you've given me And so I take this time to say This calling on my life To be a husband to my wife I can't explain 
I was going to try to sing that, but, you know, I just wouldn't have been right behind him. Tyra <laughs> Q Lane. Can't do it. Can't yeah, do it. Let, let Listen, do it. Valentine's Day it. is Saturday, so I want you to download that song before it um, comes and play it. You know, it's just a wonderful song, right? So download it, get it, it enjoy is. it. it I need to correct something before I introduce our guests who are here. I told you something wrong, which is the gospel comedy show, because those tickets are going to sell out, and I want to make sure you get your ticket. It's not March 29th. It's March 15th. March 15th. Now, when you come to the comedy show, then you'll find out what's happening on March 29th. But I don't want to confuse you. So the Gospel Comedy Show at New Life or Better Living Christian Center is March 15th at 5 p.m. And they started on time. Okay? So I just want to make that correction. And guess what? It's more than just two of us here now. Now there's four <laughs> of us. And we want to take this pleasure to introduce to the booth of Hidden Treasures with Ayanna and Morris Pastor Gary Carswell and First Lady Mia Carswell, yeah. the pastors of New Life for Better Living Christian Center. Welcome. Yes, welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. You. Um, I'm so excited to have them here because they have such a wealth of experience. They have been married for 15 years. They are leading people of God to Christ. And they are just really real, down-to-earth individuals who just want to share and to talk. So, mm -hmm. again, it, there are going to be some nuggets that are come out of, going to come out of this show. So we encourage you, give us a call if you want to, 914-969-6499. If you have a question, you can definitely call. Um, you can email us as well. But we definitely want you to be part of the conversation. Absolutely. So, with that being said, the topic is blended families, all right? So, we are in the age where this is just the norm. And I don't think there's enough books written about this or how-to guides or, you know, how do I win? And, you know, I don't think there's enough of that information out there. So, I want to, first, before I ask what you think, um, tell us how, why you are, I guess, talking about blended families. 
You want me to answer that? First? Yes, sure, sir. <laughs> uh, because we are a blended family. Yes. Uh, you know, when I met my wife, uh, you know, she had uh, children from a previous marriage, and I had children uh, from a previous marriage. Uh, marriage mm -hmm. and that's how we became a blended family mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and now when you think about uh, blended families when you think about the process when you just think about the term what are some of the words that come to mind <laughs> be careful <laughs> yes. Yes. I told you they was going to keep it real I told y'all <laughs> now you know you need to hear a whole lot more Jesus so please <laughs> watch out <laughs> Tell us more. Be careful. What what else do you think? What? Boom. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. I, I need no more. I yeah, need to. Yeah. Why yeah. be careful? What? Oh, excuse me. Uh, first, first of all, um, when you're dealing with children, especially younger children, uh, a lot of times when you come into a relationship, you don't really know what the past has been like. Yeah. yeah. And when you don't know what the past has been like, you got to be careful mm -hmm. uh, because you don't know if you're dealing with a wounded um, child. Mm. You don't know if we, we just were keeping it real today. You don't know if you're dealing with a child that's been abused. Yeah. Uh, and you're not in position at that time mm -hmm. to right. even question that. Right. Mm. So you have right. to be careful. Sir, that's good. And also, when you come into a family where there's older um children as well as younger children but adults like a, a, maybe like what uh 13, 14, 14 15 16 years old you know and even a little older mm -hmm. it's, you you have to deal with with that as well you know and it's like you know his the, we our blended family um but his children were Two, at least two of them were basically like grown, mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's like, okay, what do I do? Like, w <laughs> what is my position? What am I gonna, you know? Right, right. Like, hi, but then it's like, <laughs> you know, but it all, it worked out really, really well. Right. So you, it's, you don't know what to say sometimes, especially when someone is in, in an adult and um, when they're a child, you know, it's to me, it's a little bit easier as, as you know, because you can grow kind of like, um, in that area with the, with with the children, yeah. And I was a little with with my children, but they were like young. She's mm -hmm. being modest. And yes, and I had a, <laughs> one of my daughters. Oh my goodness, it's like oh no, it's just us. Right, it's right, only gonna right. be us. Territorial. But yeah. you know, it, it worked itself very <laughs> yeah, territorial. Yeah, it yeah. still is, but right. it's, in a, now it's all together. Right, you know? right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, the, the the other part of the other part of being careful, we got into a situation where. Uh, she has a daughter, very beautiful, very attractive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had a son, young, mm -hmm. handsome. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Keep it real. And uh, yeah. I always wanted yeah. to make sure yeah. that you had, that that something that would never transpire. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. so yeah. I came into the door explaining to him, this is a no-no. Yeah. I knew my intentions were good. I knew my intentions was real. Right. And I believed with all my heart that God had brought us together. Yeah. And so I would always counsel him, and we would always be around them. And so I always prayed. I wanted to make sure that they didn't get an eye for each other. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know. Yeah. And so that was part of be careful. And I think these are some of the things that you probably don't naturally think of. I wouldn't have thought of that um, until until you brought it out. But I do think, um, and we can address this, I do think that that's probably why some people are so apprehensive to enter into relationships with people who have children already because who knows how they're going to um, take to me. Mm -hmm. um, what What is, the, I guess, the advice that you would give people entering into relationships with children who may be a little apprehensive because I'm not sure, you know, how to... It's Because at that point, I, I would say, I, I haven't experienced this, but I would say that isn't it kind of like you're dating both the parents and the children to some degree at the same mm -hmm. time? I, 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 would, I, would, I would strongly suggest that they be apprehensive. Okay. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Uh, okay. Because you need to know who That's you're good. bringing around your That's children. Good. That's yes. good. So many people make the wrong mistake by they meet somebody and they all of a sudden they're in love yeah. mm -hmm. and they make the mistake mm -hmm. of involving their children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One thing I always loved and respected about my now wife is that she didn't rush me into meeting her children. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, mm 
I snuck behind her back. Yes. Yes. And met yes. her children. Yes, he wow. did. While she yes. was in Paris. Wow. Singing with a choir. Yes. Wow. Wow. And so, uh, you know, but it, it just, uh, it just, a situation arised where uh, the person that was watching her children needed some help. Mm-hmm. And because someone had took her car. Right. Mm-hmm. And exactly. they had impounded the car and they were just so afraid. And I got on the scene and I happened to see this little girl. Like, oh, wow, who's that? Mm-hmm. I already knew it was because right. he looked just like her. Right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I just said, hi, how you doing? Being careful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I knew this you was not You didn't say gonna... who you were. No. <laughs> like, too not at all. Yeah. 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 Matter of fact, her friend was like, oh, that's a friend of your mother from her job. Right. right. Which was true. Right. Mm-hmm. And so. That's so yes. good to hear, you yeah. know, because um, I think about when we had the um, Ask Hidden Treasures Uncut, mm-hmm. and one of the people who called in says, you know, I'm single, I have my own place, blah, mm-hmm. blah, 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 and is it okay if, you know, I don't, I'm kind of apprehensive about marrying someone with children, mm-hmm. and sometimes, you know, people say, no, don't be, or you should be okay, mm-hmm. but I think it's so key what you said on both sides, that yeah. it's important to be careful, right? Yes. because you're thinking about who are you bringing around your children, and in the same sense as the single person or the other person, Whose life are you entering into? You right. know, and what comes with that? You know, exactly. I think that's really, really key. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, and one of the things that I was thinking about is, you know, um, we were talking even before you guys got on. We were talking about how um, a lot of our the way we handle situations is not really based in reality. Um, we look at what society kind of tells us, and we take our cues from what society says. Mm-hmm. And so, our example of blended families has been the Brady Bunch for forever. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> wow. you know, that's yes. that's our example of of, of blended <laughs> families, um, but we I, I think that the it's not reality because there are some um, hard mountains I would assume to, mm-hmm. to Good climb Good um, where when you when it deals with blending these two families together, mm-hmm. how do once someone has now blended their family together, how do you um, deal with the struggles that ultimately are going to come with the tug of war between you're not my real father, you're not my real mother, because people, mm-hmm. children, kids will say these things. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You know, how do you, de- how do you deal with that and still be connected to the person that you married? Mm. What? It, well, on, what, you wanna stay? No, you, you can stay here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly speaking, it really depends on where your heart is. Okay, right. right? Okay. If your heart is in the right place, mm-hmm. then you understand that uh, these things are gonna occur. As a matter of fact, I experienced it. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I experienced it. Mm-hmm. You know, I overheard her kids talking mm-hmm. one day, mm-hmm. and uh, and uh, they were whispering. You know, you gonna call him daddy? Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm not gonna call him right. daddy. Right, right. So I turned around and said, I don't care if you don't call me dad. <laughs> uh, right. And they was like, oh. <laughs> right, right, right. And I made a joke. That's what I was gonna again. bring right. up. I didn't get. You remember that? Yeah. I didn't. I didn't get angry. You know about it, and that's why it all depends on where you are. Because yeah. I understood. Took your ego out. Yeah, they yeah. were small, they yeah. were young, and yeah. remember again, I'm being careful yeah. because I know yeah. this is not the end right. of me being around these children. Mm. Right. You know, they have. I have a saying that I say, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Yes. So my right. job was to show them I really care about mm-hmm. your mom. Right? Yeah. And so I, I didn't waste any time bringing my children in with her right, children. Right. Mm-hmm. When I came to visit, right. I didn't come alone. Right. Mm-hmm. We had a rule. Right. You're not, your kid ain't gonna wake up and see me laying in exactly. your back. Exactly. Right. Uh, right. You know what I mean? Right. And so, right. and I brought my kids and they played together. So that helped the situation. Yeah. Yeah. But for yeah. a woman, you know, um, such, you know, a woman being in a situation like that and you do have girls and you have children and, and someone comes into your life and it's like, um, I had struggles in my life. Um, I know we're talking about blended families, but um, guys, I just want to say to like women, you know, those women mm-hmm. who get involved with someone and they always want, you know, like you're the giver all the time and you have the children and they're not really concerned about the, your children. They're really concerned about you. And if they're not trying to interact with your children, when you allow that to happen, there's some keys, some some red flags that we need to kind of look at, mm. you know, um, during that process, you know, because um, my husband, he, it was like, oh, you can live here, let's all just move into my place. And for him to say, no, let's, we're going to 
I can't move here. I need to take you from where you are. Not that I was a I need her, you know, like I need this, I need that, not that. But let, let me let's take you, we are gonna move together. I'm gonna take you and the children, we're going away together and we're gonna move, I'm gonna sh we're gonna move into my place. That's like a great flag. Whoever, <laughs> great. <laughs> Go for it, I'm telling you. Go for it. That's it's the flag okay. to wait, right? Oh, all the time. Go for it. Because, you know, it. a lot of men, they're using the same world rule. Let me just take it over there and let me just move your be yeah. over there. And then, uh, you know, it, it, that's, that's what it was like. So, a lot yeah, of flags going you have to, I'm gonna, yeah. you know, I don't know if I can encourage someone that yes. may be going through a situation trying to understand or anything like that. You know, listen, go for it. And when 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 they in when they want to interact with you, just still be cautious. Yes. Yeah. But if you want to interact that way, you know, um, go for it because if he's gonna take you and I had excuse me I had four four children mm -hmm. and you know you know something too go ahead oh no so we have a caller who uh oh, who's actually right. on the okay. phone oh they're going oh <laughs> we had a caller <laughs> call a call back call a call, call back <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that's the, uh, you were about to say I probably I, threw you I, off no I lost my thought <laughs> phone is oh, ringing. they're calling back you know um well, I'll call, to caller you're on the air Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can. Call it if you're near your computer. Walk away from the computer um, so you'll hear us better. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Call it walk away from your computer. Okay, I'm away from it. Okay. You're on the air. Am we I on the air? You. You're yes. on the air. I want to say hello to Pastor and First Lady Carswell. This is your favorite member, Jermaine Gibson, and I love you guys. A beautiful show. I called everybody there watching. I know you guys are talking about blended family, so I called a lot of people that I know that are dealing with that situation right now, nice. and we are all watching. Again, love you. Have a great show, and I'm going to hang up now. Bye -bye. <laughs> Thanks for calling, favorite member. <laughs> you know, I just want to say the one favorite. thing. Um, we have an wow. older daughter, the oldest daughter in um, our funny. blended family. And it's funny because sometimes I introduce, like we, we're going, oh, this is my daughter, this is my daughter, this is my daughter. When it comes to her, it's like, this is my daughter. And they're looking like, <laughs> I said, come on, come on, come on, let them do the math. <laughs> Don't even worry about it, just come on. So we have a lot of fun, yeah. you know. Yeah. And one thing I like about the, our blended family, it's no step this, no step mom, oh. no step you know, this is my stepdad, this is my stepsister. It's none of that. That's I mean, no -no. it was mm -hmm. just, everything <laughs> just came together and, you know, and it takes prayer, yeah. you know, um, it takes being real, mm -hmm. you know, with, with them as well. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's a, it can be beautiful if we um, allow our children to be children on both sides and blend together that's what I mm -hmm. blended that's the point of it being blended mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and it's not easy with oh with him and I sometimes you know I'm on this one side and he's on that one <laughs> side so we have our own mm -hmm. thing but it all works out together mm -hmm. and I was gonna ask yeah. because one of the things that Morris said is how do you um, handle the situation and not allow it to come between the two of you mm -hmm. and that was one of the things he said towards the end of one of the questions I think you were starting to go there but mm -hmm. for anyone who's watching how do you say okay how do we handle all of our children coming together however many they may be if it's just two or mm -hmm. whatever and not allow it to come between our own personal relationship as husband and wife we, wow. we, we made we made an agreement mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we stood by it mm -hmm. uh, you know we're gonna find out the facts mm -hmm. you know we're gonna be careful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and but the funny thing is in, in in our blended situation usually she's taking my biological kid side and I'm taking her by last week. <laughs> so it's kind of like reversed it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. right, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but right. they understand. And that was just the rule that I set in place. No offense to anybody else that used those terms. Mm -hmm. right. But for me in my household, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't want them calling her a stepmom mm -hmm. and vice versa, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But it took a while uh, for them mm -hmm. to actually, all of them at every age, yes. call me dad. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they call her mom. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and so... They are, they are some really, really, really good 
children, mm -hmm. uh, and they love each other. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's a lot that helped us because they liked each other. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, they interacted well right. with each other. They was good with each other, helping each other with homework, mm -hmm. you know, and things of that nature. So God was on our side with mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was definitely God ordained right. mm -hmm. and God appointed. You but know, look, you don't let, let's be real. We had our times. Right. right. That's uh, what I was know, getting ready to say. We got into was, our little battles. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know about yeah. it. And yeah. So it's yeah. like, okay. A lot of things, some things I didn't agree with, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. you know, uh, on in being, you know, how how it was discipl mm -hmm. discipline was being taken in the house. And some things he didn't agree with. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some I didn't like the way sometimes he, well, how he allowed boys, the boys to do certain things and the girls couldn't do. Yeah. So we had our that challenges with that. And that's, not, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, um, and I'm, and you know, it's, it, it was, we would, some in the beginning, we would mm -hmm. kind of like do it in front of them. Mm -hmm. And we realized that that wasn't a good thing mm -hmm. to do. So if I disagreed with something, then let me, after ev everyone's out of the area, then, you know, maybe, you know, I didn't, it, it's not, it was never, I didn't like the way you did. It was, um, could it have been a different way? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times of our upbringing, we kind of like yeah. want to, you know, because he was up, brought up differently. So was I. So we had to take all of that c in consideration. And some things I didn't agree with and some things he didn't agree with. Mm -hmm. and, and it's still like that mm -hmm. sometimes, mm -hmm. even though most of them are grown, you mm -hmm. know, it's like we, I don't agree and he doesn't agree, but we come to some type of um, compromise or common ground. Sometimes I, I kind of win, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real answer she wanted to give. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this still the uh, same show? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay, I just wanted to know. Yes, yes, yes. That's how our shows go. We can go ahead and do that. But one of the things that I'm, I'm really hearing you all say is that there is a level of patience that has to be oh, executed yes. in the process. Oh, that, yes. That you can't expect that overnight, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, everybody's no. going to be great, and we're not going to have any struggles, and we're not going to have any problems. Mm -hmm. But it's really being able to persevere through the problems exactly. that are sure to happen, exactly. you know, and to be able to stick that out. Um, but in addition to that, I heard you, um, Pastor Cars Carswell, really um, articulate well um, not beating people into submission, but loving them into submission. Mm -hmm. um, and you, you talked about, you know, uh, the more that they that they realize that you cared for them, mm -hmm. the less resistance that you had. And so mm -hmm. I really even want to say to our listeners exactly. um, that we really could even take this outside of blended families and mm -hmm. just say that in, in a general sense, yes, sir. that it's really not about you trying to beat people over the head and make them um, 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 form you know form into the shape that you want them to be mm -hmm. but really about showing people love and ultimately that love will win people over yes. that is so and yes. that's a biblical phrase yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. with love and kindness yes mm -hmm. you know have yeah. our drawing thing right and so the bible played a part yeah played yes. a great part yeah uh, mm -hmm. you know uh the do's and the don'ts. Let's mm -hmm. talk about that, Pastor. Like, because because the truth is, this this is you know this is a Christian show, and well, and, amen. And and you know, <laughs> I, right? <laughs> and That's I, enough, right? I believe you know. Um, I was just saying this actually. I was teaching a class right yes. before this, and I was saying, marriage is difficult. Mm -hmm. Period. Let's put that all up. Marriages can be very very difficult. Mm -hmm. With God, it becomes um, less difficult. But it's still difficult. It's still difficult. <laughs> right? Yes. So I, I don't un so I don't even know how people I can't fathom how people do it without God. Right. So mm -hmm. can you talk can you all talk about the importance of, of how God, God really mm -hmm. um allowed you to, to be where you are now? No, well uh, uh, first of all, I, I um the Bible speaks about he that findeth a wife mm -hmm. findeth a good thing mm -hmm. and obtains favor with with the Lord. Thank you for saying that. And mm -hmm. um <laughs> A lot of time people make the mistake, and I firmly believe that. Yeah. And I don't think uh, women should go out looking for mm -hmm. a man mm -hmm. because that's mm -hmm. already that. not following the biblical principle. You're already out of order. Right. You're yeah. already yeah. out of order. Yeah. Yeah. And God, we know that God does things in decency yeah. and in order. Yes, sir. And and so I believe, and that something I did, and, and sometimes God will show you up. Especially when you think you know everything. <laughs> and I, I say that because I always vowed, like, I would never marry a woman with children. Wow. Coming up, I said, I will never marry no woman with children. <laughs> and so I remember when I met her, and I was talking to my mom, and I said to my mom, I said, uh, Ma, she, she says, I like her. I said, Ma, she got four kids. <laughs> right, yeah, and right, she looked yeah. at me, she said, really? She <laughs> said, how many you got? Uh oh, mm -hmm. and I said four. Gotcha. And she said, "So what's the problem? <laughs> Eight is <Right>. enough." Right? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Yes. And, 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 and so <laughs> I, 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 I just believe that uh, the Bible says, trust in the Lord with yeah. all your heart yeah. and lean not on your own understanding, right. yeah. but in all thy ways acknowledge God and he will direct your path. Mm -hmm. You got to put yourself in position yeah. where you can hear from God. Uh, because a lot of people jump ahead of God. Mm -hmm. And when you, if he's a God of decency and order, mm -hmm. right? And, and he's God of decency and order and things are out of order in your relationship, mm -hmm. then you need to sit back down and reevaluate where you're getting your advice from. Mm -hmm. You know, so many people turn to uh, the computer, mm -hmm. and so many people mm -hmm. turn to Facebook, mm -hmm. and so many people turn to texting mm -hmm. instead of turning to God. Right. Mm -hmm. And so uh, my strong advice that anytime you're going through a trial or anytime you're going through a tribulation, it's always good to consult with God yeah. because you can't go wrong when you consult with God. And the other thing you have to remember that love don't hurt. Right. Mm. Say that. The right. Bible says the blessings of the Lord is rich yes. and it adds no sorrow. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And so if you're crying every night in your relationship, something is wrong. Wow. Right. Unless wow. you're crying joyful tears. That's right. good. Right. Right. That right. was really good. Yeah. And as well, um, and from a woman's uh, point, you know, the Bible speaks that a, a woman who builds a house, she builds a house with her hand, her hand, her hand she plucked it down. You can pluck it down. Wait, she can pluck it down with her hands. It's in the book of Proverbs. Mm -hmm. um, I think I left the beginning of it out. And also, as well, um, as just him and I, when we go through, we go through. Mm -hmm. We go through. That's the key word. Through. Okay. Yeah. Through. Yes, sir. Yes, Not we don't get stuck. Right. <laughs> get stuck. <laughs> you, you, we don't and, go in. We go and, through. And, 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 yeah. The home, the wife, I believe, the word of God says, sanctifies the home and prayer is is mm -hmm. just a big key mm -hmm. you know i'm not trying to get deep or anything but prayer is yeah. is really the key of you know keeping us you know on where we need to be with our blended mm -hmm. family mm -hmm. as well as still having our time to do what we can do and what we have to do together mm -hmm. you understand what absolutely. i'm saying mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. i think we have another caller who is on the phone now Caller, you are on the air with Hidden Treasures. Yes. Hi, Caller, you're on the air with Hidden Treasures. Hey, uh, my name is Daryl. How you I'm doing? I'm Pastor Carswell, the armor bearer. And I'm just calling to say that as his armor bearer, I've had the opportunity, the privilege to spend a lot of time with Pastor and First Lady Carswell around their children and in their home. And I tell you, the way they've, the way they've handled that is commendable. I mean, you can't tell that they're not that they're not used to their biological children. Mm -hmm. Everything she's saying, that they're, they're saying tonight, they say it, they live it, you know. And I've been a witness to it, mm. and it's an example that I would love to follow. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Thank you for calling. Thank you, for calling. Thank you brother Dow. Thank God for our testimony. Now we know you real deal. Yes. We know, yes. uh -oh. <laughs> we know y'all wasn't just up here. We faking always this need stuff. A, you need a witness to stop it. <laughs> Before you get in there, this is what we're going to You know, this is so beautiful because there's so many things that is that are coming out. And in real talk, you know, we talked about um, yeah. being careful. And it's good to be apprehensive or careful of this situation or cautious, but prayerful in all of it. Both of you were talking about um, wondering at first if you were in position to handle cer certain situations mm -hmm. when it was still new. But then how through prayer, God brings you mm -hmm. into position to be able to handle these things. Mm -hmm. They talked about talking together. And having an agreement saying, how are we going to address this issue together? Being mm -hmm. a united front. Mm -hmm. um, talked about keeping God at the forefront of it, you know, in prayer and in the word of God. Yes. And I'm wondering, you know, and I know this is what has had to have helped with all the emotions. But what are some of the emotions when you, mm. you know, when you think about the process of blended families? What were some of the emotions being, you know, as sold out for God as, you know, you are? What were mm -hmm. still some of the real emotions mm -hmm. when dealing with a blended family? Mm. He said, hmm. I, I'm a, I, yeah, yeah. Because, because you know what? And it's so real, right? Yeah. And I, can I go back to the Bible for a second? Yeah, absolutely. You, can, you have to be careful not to outright show favoritism. Yes. Right? And sometimes you spill over mm -hmm. and you do that. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think about the story of Joseph. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, his uh, father caused his problems yeah. mm -hmm. um, by being... So um, outright, mm -hmm. just showing favor, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and that was a situation where 
the brothers had different mothers. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and so I say that Excellent to say that point. you have yeah. to be so, and because of the father's love and that he showed to that particular son, it caused the rest mm -hmm. of the brothers to dislike him. Wow. I mean, mm -hmm. the Bible yeah. actually says they hated him. They hated him. Uh, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so we have to be careful, yeah. right, mm -hmm. as parents yeah. not to, and let's just be realistic because we keep it real, mm -hmm. right? That's what we do. We love. We should love all our children. We love all of our children. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, we do. Right, mm -hmm. but there's some you like mm -hmm. a little more <laughs> than the other. No, yes. I'm so glad you said that. Uh, that is true. You know, my, yeah. I hope my kids ain't watching. Yeah. But when I get home, if they watching, they say, "Well, which one do you like right? more?" Yes, yes. You will never know that. that. That's right. You never answer that. <laughs> but that is true. It's, 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 right. it's so true. Right. So you have to be careful. Again, I use that word. Yeah. Uh, not mm -hmm. to do that. Yes. Uh, because it really can cause yes, it can. major problems. Mm -hmm. You know, they may not get thrown in no ditch nowhere. They may not get <laughs> right. sold into yeah, slavery. Yeah, right. I hope not. But there's, a, <laughs> <laughs> but there's, there's, there's other uh, life challenges that they can mm -hmm. face right. yes. that can be very uncomfortable yes. uh, right. for them or even be in dangerous situations. Yes, yeah. that's yeah. a good point. Good yeah. point. Yeah. Good that's point. an excellent point. Were you going to speak to some of the emotions? Um, just He basically really said it, said it all. But um, when he t when he talked about you know the favorite you know I was like okay I think we you know we gotta be a little careful right now. <laughs> She's like, can yeah. you edit that for us? <laughs> yes, 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 we, yes. No, We'll have that discussion after the show. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. Right, but, but I but I understood the. Understood, understood the point yeah. because even even though you you know have um, a personality, it, the the truth of the matter is whether your whether your role is father or mother or wife or husband we're mm -hmm. still people and mm -hmm. so we are people with personalities mm -hmm. and and there are personalities that are going to be drawn to mm -hmm. to others over over another but it doesn't mean that your love for somebody no, is any no, different um and i think that's really what he was mm -hmm. speaking to you know is that um uh, that the love for children has to always be the same yes. our love for 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 just people period exactly. should really and be the, the children they know how to play that role too oh, of course yeah. they okay, do they play very that well quick. Yeah. okay they very play well i know yeah. where to go no even with us i know where to go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i can go to him i'm gonna ask him mm -hmm. but i'm not gonna ask her mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and there was one time it was like that and i was like oh, no we got to get on one accord with this right we have to have the same answer when mm -hmm. the, when when this one come or that one that come. Yeah, that the same yeah, yeah. answer. <laughs> right, okay, right. so because it would be then we would find we would find ourselves like, but I, you know, going right. through like a, a you little. Told her yes, I um, said no. Right, yeah. What was I heard someone call it heated fellowship or something? Ah, like that. Yeah, I've never heard that. Kind of go yeah. that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But you know, yeah, we're, we're, we are a real we are a real family. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I just want to interject one, one one other thing, which I think is very important. Um, a lot of people are bent on um, punishing. And to me, there's a difference between correcting yes. someone's behavior as opposed to punishing uh, the person. Right. So I think a lot of times, and I'm not trying to tell nobody how to run mm -hmm. right. on their house, but right. in our household, we like to look more towards correcting than punishing. Right. Mm -hmm. That's tough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, have, we have somebody on the phone? Caller, you on the air with Hidden Treasures. Hi, yes. Um, I just wanted to speak about the um, blended family. It is really important to understand that everybody is not qualified to become a parent. Mm -hmm. So when God places you in the life of children that whose parent is no longer there, that is a great responsibility and a great, a great opportunity to minister and to plant seed and to grow someone who may have been growing wrong all along. You can't find, it's difficult to find, it's, you know, in this day and age, it's difficult to find women that do, that do not have children or men that do not have children. And to think that we can go into someone's life and make a difference. Remember that Jesus was a part of a blended family mm -hmm. himself because his father, his, his earthly father, Joseph, was not his father. Mm -hmm. So he had, to, he had to be a father to him. He had to know how to love the Son of God and, 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 and nurture him to be who he was and accept that ministry and accept that calling. 
And when we are given the opportunity to step into a child's life and be a blessing to them, do so with the spirit of humility, with the spirit of grace, knowing that this is a a, a special gift that God has given you. Adoption is a wonderful thing. I've been adopted. I've adopted my children, and my children adopted their children. So. I'm a, I, and I know the blessings that come from it. I know the joy that comes from it, and I receive all the blessings and pass them on to other children as well. We that was an awesome, awesome statement. Man. Thank Amen. you so much. Amen. Awesome. Thanks so much. God bless. God bless. Amen. You. Amen. You know, one of, one of the things that, um, uh, to me, a recurring theme in what you all are saying is that there were mistakes that were made along the way, you know, um, and that it is through the making, the correcting of the mistakes that are made Mm -hmm. that we begin to really figure out what works for us and what does not work for us. And so I would just say to to everyone else um, who's watching to be patient within the process and to know that there are some mistakes that are gonna be made. Uh, But when the mistakes made are made, love Mm -hmm. will actually correct the mistakes. Love will correct the mistakes. Yeah, right, right. Any any last words from you all um, before we close out? Just if I can encourage a um, woman who may be trying to make a decision on, um, you know, getting into a situation as a, of a blended family, just um, just be, you know, just pray and make sure that um, that the the gentleman who is coming into your children's life that they do have that, you know, humility and the patience and all of those things because um, it's not easy because as a woman, and especially when you have girls, you kind of, and in boys too, yeah. you kind of like, you know, I don't know, you know, is this, is, what, what should I do, you know? You know, and it's like one thing I've always, you know, and, and with, with my husband, it was like, you know, cover up, keep yourself covered, don't be uncovered, all of that, you know. This is just because I had smaller children. You know, and it doesn't matter, smaller or older. Yeah. But you know, um, just make sure that that man really, really loved your children. I, 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 my husband loves me, but I watch how he loves my children. Mm. My mom and my dad are no longer with um, with me. They moved on. They um, went on to be with the Lord. And one thing they both said: that man right there loves your children i had four children and he loved each and every one of them Mm. like they were his and if you are in a situation and you feel as if you you struggling with the decision of should you go with this or should you not for some reason i feel that i know this is a christian this is a christian station but Mm -hmm. i just want there's someone out there who is struggling i feel it in my spirit you're trying to figure out what should you do should you shouldn't you should you shouldn't you you know because you may have been hurt over and over time after time or whatever but my advice to you is continue to pray and ask god you know um to guide you and just go a little maybe even fast a little bit more because i believe the best is yet to come for you i don't know who i'm speaking to but i believe the answer is probably yes but you have to feel that from god yourself Mm. and god bless you Mm. awesome awesome amen any Hey Amen. Listen, I just, want, I just want to thank you guys uh, thank for you. having thank us. You. It was an opportunity yes. to us. And for those of you that are listening or watching, um, we don't have the blueprint, yeah. uh, you yeah. know, uh, to tell you or to show you how to raise your children. My prayer tonight is that we've said something uh, that may have helped you. We've said something that made you want to search a little further. But my main prayer is that we said something to make you want to get a closer relationship with God yeah. right. because if you get that closer relationship with God you are in great position to be successful yes. in everything yes. that you do thank God you. bless you God bless God you bless. and God bless y'all yes. we are excited thank you uh pastor and Thanks first lady you all were fantastic and uh you know you're always welcome back to our show yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. and to you all I hope that you will be tuning in next week for another exciting show with hidden treasures with Ann and Morris we love you all. Peace. Good Next night. week. Good, Good night. night. <laughs>